Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing um, how to root the Neo NO2 and how to flash uh, G apps into it. Okay, not only Play Store but the whole G apps including uh, Maps, including YouTube, including Gmail and everything that's uh, associated with uh, G apps that's going to be in the phone. But first of all, I will show you how to root the phone, all right? Okay, uh, make sure you have these four packages. MTK6577 driver, okay? This is the main driver, which uh, will allow you to recognize the phone while the phone is switched off, okay? And here is a 91, it's, it's actually 91 assistant for Android. This is a free software and it's Chinese. Okay, I loaded it up and uh, you can have a look at it here. It's Chinese, you don't have to do a thing. I can't read Chinese, so I'm not going to use it. It loads the driver for the new phone. It loads the new drivers, okay? So your system can detect the new phone. Alright, and uh, this is G Apps. That's Google Apps. So Play Store is in there as well as Maps and the rest of the uh, Google applications and root with restore by binary root with restore by binary version 13 this is downloaded from XDA forum which uh, I will also put it up on 4Share but uh, you can um, go to my blog there's a link there and you can go to the main forum there may be a newer version for you Okay, so without further ado, it's all very simple. All you need to do is to install this and then install that. The Chinese app need not even be running, okay? As long as there is no error when you plug your phone in when while it's switched on. I'm going to plug the phone in right now. Okay, so um, the USB cable goes into the top over here and as you can see in the notification it has got um, connected as a media device make sure in settings that USB debugging is enabled alright so once you got that open up the folder Open up the folder, root with restore, and just double click on the bat file. Make your choice, just uh, one. At this point, this is going to appear on your phone. It will ask you for a password, but ignore the password. And just click on restore my data as you can see it is doing a reboot okay so when the phone shows up again it will install the necessary software like super user onto the phone waiting for device to show up again and it is done So now I'm going to show uh, how to install the G apps package including Play Store. Make sure that you have your G apps copied into an SD card and inserted into the back of the phone or the slot of the phone. And this is how you go into the recovery. The recovery is already built into the phone so you do not have to install any recovery but the bad thing is it is in Chinese up volume and power button at the same time if it doesn't work 
remove the battery, put it back and try again. Okay, it doesn't work. Power off. Turn it around. Remove the battery, put it back, my SD card here with the GApps package, okay snap it back on and uh, let's try it again, here we go. It vibrates. And here we are, as you can see, recovery mode. Okay, so it is in Chinese. So what um, you need to do is to go to the second line that says SD, okay? Second line. I don't think you can see that. Okay, that says SD. Let's see if I can go nearer. So you swipe to go down. Okay. Click on the last line here. Okay. The first line says install a zip. You can select a zip. Okay, search for your package, G apps, as you can see here. Oops, and install and go for it. This has got a G apps installer built in. Next. The screen is a little bit fiddly, so uh, it's better to use the power button to go next. Accept. Okay, next. Next. Full install. Install now. Finished. Reboot. As you can see, you install G apps and it's going to do some upgrading for some of the components. Okay, and it's done.
as you can see Gmail here galleries here maps latitude play store what we want is play store and you need to sign in with your existing account okay because this phone is fresh and uh, I have not put my account in there so now just go to Play Store download Titanium Backup and remove all the Chinese apps okay there's one thing you need to do before you install Titanium Backup by the Play Store and that is to disable the uh, built-in Chinese security first you need to locate the app and uh, it's the one with the M okay it says QQ security and that's the M launch it tap on the key icon and you will go into the settings page uh, right here there are two switches that are turned on you need to turn them off okay by turning them off you can now download stuff from play store and uh, that's all for this video